So hot on the heels of Jeff Gersman announcing that he is leaving Giant Bomb behind. We now have our first Giant Bomb cast release, their, their podcast, released without any of the founding or original members of Giant Bomb, which is just crazy to say out loud. I guess it was it was a long time coming, right? Uh, I, I, I suppose. Even Jeff said so in his live stream, which we'll, we'll cover in another video uh, in the future here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just crazy to say because I guess the site has been running for 14, 15 years at this point. So I guess everybody being gone at this point is not like a huge surprise. People have moved on and done other things and uh, you don't want to do other things, I should say, right? Uh, but anyway, what came with this bomb cast was basically like no explanation as to why Jeff left. They, they were like, we're going to leave all the personal stuff out of it and just say like, we're starting a new here with a new band of nine people. Now, I don't know if this means that nine people will be on the bomb cast every single week, which I'm not sure if that's a great idea just because it might get a little too chaotic, but who knows? Maybe, maybe it'll work out. I, I don't know. I, I'm willing to give this a shot just based on who is involved for sure. So First up, you have Lucy and Tamir, who are from GameSpot. You know, they've been around for quite some time. I'm sure you've seen them on the GameSpot videos, and they've been working with Giant Bomb over the past year on some things, too. So now they are officially members of uh, the Giant Bomb crew, which is pretty cool. Uh, you have Dan Riker, which, of course, anybody who knows Giant Bomb knows Dan. He's a funny guy, which uh, was pretty interesting, though, because he was working at WWE, which I thought was his dream job in now he's not there and he's working Giant Bomb full time. So maybe Giant Bomb's his actual dream job. Maybe he, I don't know, had a change of heart. But he's back here as some kind of a creative director, it seems. So good to have Dan back. Jason is still here. Jan is still here. Jeff Bacalar is still here. Jeff Grubb is now an official, like, full-time crew member. And rounding it out, you have Matthew Rory. Everybody knows Matthew Rory because, you know, he's the dog guy, right? And then, of course, uh, at the end, you have Jess, who is somebody who is... Uh, added last year uh, during sort of like the uh, fluctuation of uh, Giant Bomb when everybody left last year and, and the company was sold and everything. So that those are your nine members there. And to be honest, um, you know, this is actually pretty interesting. I, I wasn't sure where they were going. Um, my thoughts on Giant Bomb were basically like, hey, um, you know, if they're going to continue with the current crew that they have, I felt like there wasn't much chemistry there. I'm not sure that I'm really going to pay attention to what they're doing going forward, right? But with this new crew here, uh, especially adding Dan Riker back to the fold, I, I can't help but be interested. And, and the fact that they have Jeff Grubb as a, a full-timer, too. I can't help but be interested because I, I feel like they're going to help round out and maybe bring the chemistry back to the podcast that it so desperately needs. So I, I got to say, I, I'm not sure that I would say I'm super excited, but I, I'm definitely interested to check out the show now where before I really wasn't all that interested. So yeah, it's... it's kind of crazy for all of this to happen during, you know, the, the E3 season of this year, you know, like one of the sites that I normally watch during E3 to see what, what their opinions are on the games that are coming out, what their opinions are on the panels and the, and the, you know, the conferences and any of the live streams that happen. Like Giant Bomb has always been a site that I, you know, I check in on to see what they say during E3. And for Jeff to be gone from it is just, like, kind of weird. It, it's really strange. Like, I'll definitely be checking out his own Twitch, uh, you know, to, to see what he has to say for sure. But I, I am very interested to see what this panel has to say on the Bombcast for sure about E3 and everything else. So, you know, uh, we'll see what's going on going forward here with E3 and beyond with Giant Bomb. Like I said, I'm going to kind of keep my eye on it and uh, listen every now and then to see how it's going. Uh, I will say, say that uh, while listening to the podcast today, uh, Jan is now the official host of the show, and I felt like he brought a really good energy today. I feel like an energy that he hasn't brought before, so I don't know if he just felt like he had to bring it today to kind of get people into it, but it was cool. Like, he had a very good intro. Uh, he announced and introduced everybody and did a great job with that. But yeah, we'll, we'll kind of see... Uh, where this goes, you know, because a lot of it, you know, a podcast is as good as the sum of its parts. You know what I mean? If you have a podcast that has people who don't have chemistry together, like I, I kind of thought the, the show ha didn't have before, then it's, you know, it's not going to be super entertaining, at least for me. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how it goes here. Uh, I'm very interested, like I said, to see what happens and, and what they're going to do here, especially for E3. Uh, definitely interested to see how that all goes during this busy season here. But yeah, there you go, everybody. I just wanted to kind of update you on where the podcast is at, what's going on with everybody. 
uh, with the show. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're interested, hey, let me know in the comments. If you're not interested, hey, let me know then too. <laughs> let me know your thoughts either way. Uh, but hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.